everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Susan. I'm Jerry. And, and Happy New oh, Year! Yeah. Okay, happy New Year. And we're just one more. Just how to get that in yeah, there. Yeah, just one more. Yeah. <laughs> happy New Year, everyone. When you're watching this, though, which is really exciting, it's actually exactly the day of six months we've been on the road. Yep. December 30th will be six months. What are we going to talk about, Susan? You know what? We're going to recap the last six months. Uh, we're going to do something a little differently this time. Um, Nick, thank God for Nick, is going to take care of putting in all kinds of great little videos of our past six months. And we're going to kind of recap a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. So, our favorites, yeah. least favorite, yeah. adventures, things yeah. we've learned, <laughs> uh, our relationship. <laughs> all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. So let's start off with, um, I, I, I would say the favorite three RV parks. It's easy, yeah. Yeah, but you know what? Before we do that, let's talk about the states that we've been oh, in. Oh, so all the states. Yeah, all the yeah. states. So, so far, we have been in, of course, California. We've been in Oregon. We've been in Idaho. We've been in Montana. We've been in uh, New Mexico, Arizona, and Texas. Wow. Seven, Seven states. states. That's not bad. How That's many miles? About 12,000? Yeah, about yeah. that. About 12,000 miles in six months that we've covered. Uh, we've learned an awful lot, and there's what's a the lot most more... What's our biggest expense? Oh, the biggest expense is fuel. Yeah. People, people have said that they thought our biggest expense would be our RV campgrounds. Nope. <laughs> it's fuel. Where's the most expensive fuel? We're in California right now. Holy smokes. You know, we didn't realize, you know, when you live here, you just expect it, it's just what you do. But when we have a diesel truck, um, and it's a 50 gallon truck. Yep. Uh, so that's a lot of gas, or excuse me, a lot of diesel. Fuel. Fuel. And uh, when you have to fill up, what? Uh, you get about eight, nine miles to the gallon. So you fill up a lot when you're towing. Right, yeah. right. So with the fuel situation, we've been really funny about that. We've been taking pictures <laughs> across the states that we've been in on the different fuel prices. And of course, the minute we crossed into California, it went up to about five bucks. So that is our most expensive. Right. Um, our campground would be second. You know, campgrounds, depending on where we go, are second. Yeah. Um, I try to keep it between 40 and $50 a night. There's a lot of places that are 30. Um, but uh, coming up next year, we have some major expenses coming up when it comes to the campgrounds because we're gonna be in uh, the East Coast a lot. But to go back to our top three RV campgrounds. Okay. So third place came in, the very first place we stayed in, in Hornbrook, California, yeah. called the Blue Heron. It was on yeah. the Klamath River. Yeah. Their wild horses were there. It's gorgeous. We parked right on the river, so every yeah. morning we looked yeah. out and there was a river. Unfortunately, we had a heat wave. Yeah, it was a little warm. Uh, but at least we were at the water. So that was number three. Yep. Number two was Travelers. Travelers. Yeah, Travelers RV Park in Darby, Montana. And the reason we loved that was because it was right in downtown Darby, Montana, which Darby, Montana is a mile and a half long. but. We just parked and walked. That tiny little resort. Fabulous. What, five or six spaces. Six, six um, bull hookups. Yeah. yeah. Lovely people, took yeah. very good care of us. And of course, our very dear friends, Lisa and Kenny are there. Yeah. So that was really cool. And we loved spending six weeks yeah. in Darby, Montana. All two restaurants. <laughs> yeah. And All two bars. Yeah. And it's where they filmed the, the show Yellowstone. Yeah. So when we started watching Yellowstone this season, we go, oh my God. Yeah. We, we were there. I saw that. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, that was really cool. Murdoch's was one of the stores. Yeah. And, you know, so very, very cool place. And then the number one place that we absolutely dun, loved dun, 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 dun. was the La Hacienda RV Resort in Austin, Austin Texas. Texas. Why did we love that? We loved it for a lot of reasons, but one is that Katie was there, so that was really cool to be able the to big, spend some time. Big, clean, yeah, clean. nice sites. Even the, the laundry room was spotless and um, they had concierge garbage pickup yeah, every morning so that was really nice and they'll pick it up, yeah you know? but the spaces were so nice and well we met some great people there oh yeah we were there also for six weeks so yeah. that was really nice and and we are going back in march um <clears throat> to stay some part of the winter there because it's hopefully going to be warmer but we're going to go back and we're actually going to stay in the exact same spot we were in when we were there so that was really cool so what else? What else um, do we want to recap? What, oh, I know. 
favorite adventure? Balloon Fiesta? Yeah, the yeah. Balloon Fiesta. Yeah, I mean, how can you not say that? I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a bucket list for a lot of people. It was, certainly was for us. Yeah, you have to do it. Uh, you have to, if, you know, just, seriously, if you love hot air ballooning or just to go look at it, I, I we highly recommend that you do this once in your life. It's because the it's, largest yeah. fiesta in the world. Amazing. And we met some amazing people that we know are going to be lifetime friends yeah. who are actually going to go visit, Gene and Paul, in Lake Havasu coming up here pretty quick. But it was... Um, it was so magical being a part of this balloon fiesta. Yeah. It was being on the field and watching the balloons go up every single morning and we crewed for a pilot, Richard. That was really fun and then it got a bit too much just to be honest yeah. with you. Um, but You work your butt off you early do. in the morning you and do. at night. Yeah. And there's thousands of people. We didn't I didn't realize yeah. how many people there were until we went up in the balloon and where we're I'm looking, looking around going, oh my God, look at the thousands of people yeah, that are here. Yeah, it was uh, it was amazing. The other thing that we loved so much, of course, was being in Austin and hanging out in Austin. Yeah. Uh, that was so much fun. That you can't, nice city. You can't get bored in Austin. And then, of course, hanging out in Darby. I mean, those Darby. are our, our three big adventures, I think. Fishing that we, yeah, in Darby. Yeah, that was... Susan is now my fly fishing buddy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know... We did a lot yeah. so far. We really have done a lot, and that was really, really cool. So those are our adventures that we loved, and we know we have a lot more coming up, so oh, yeah. a lot more. And then, of course, the challenges of being an RV um, and having this lifestyle, I, I would say first and foremost is the weather. Yeah. Right? We're learning about cold weather right now. Yeah. <laughs> now, we're in California, so we're not in snow or or anything like that but we're, we as you all know if you're here in California there's a lot of rain yeah. and we live uh, we're living right now in a, the Alameda County Fairgrounds which there's nothing but mud <laughs> so it there's no cement it's all mud and so that's a challenge yucky yeah that's a challenge and living in an RV it's it's like a tin can yeah. if you will we do, we have double pane windows yeah. <laughs> and we have a thermostat and, and we know we we do get heat we get, we and we have a warm. fireplace, yeah. but it's um it's challenging. I mean that's just part of this. Yeah. You get dressed up to go to bed. Yeah, you you because <laughs> you gotta keep warm. But here's the thing: in the beginning, we had nothing but heat wave. Yeah. For four months, we traveled through heat wave and the smoke here on the west coast. So that yeah. was the challenge. Sucks. But the thing that I think we love the most, or let me put it this way: the thing I love the most is the freedom. Yeah. It, it's really cool to be able to have your house on wheels and make a decision to go, hey, let's just go here, or hey, we don't like it here, let's just take off. And let's that go. that happened in Driggs, Idaho. Yeah. Um, we made the mistake of uh, booking um, a group rally with full time um, full time employees or full time workers who are full time. Are veers, which yeah. means that they're full time working. That means they're not retired and they're young. So we kind of got in the group with a bunch of, you know, younger people. They like to party at night. That was a challenge because, you know, till two o'clock in the morning, pretty much the partying was going on. They were all farts. We want to go to bed. You know, I mean, we love good music. It's hard when there's boom, 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 <laughs> boom, 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 boom. You know, like it was challenging. <laughs> so we left early. Yeah. You know, and that's the beauty of being in the RV. So that where was did, an Where experience. did we spend our first night away from Driggs? In the um, AutoZone Auto parking, parking lot. lot. And what did it do all night long? Thunder and lightning. Oh, man, we didn't rain. sleep a wink. No. And Finally, it, we just said to hell with it. Let's, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. And one of our rules, is, if you've been watching us for a while, one of our rules is definitely not to drive at night. Yeah. We did we drive did. at night. It was early in it the morning. It was early in the morning and it was very dark. I wanted to get a cup of coffee at like 5 a.m. And, and the drive-in window at was McDonald's. The, at McDonald's, the only thing that was open. So I had to go up and knock on the window because I couldn't drive my fifth wheel into it. And they're like looking at me like, I just want a cup of coffee. There's my fifth wheel. And they started laughing and opening up. They got me a cup of coffee. Which was really oh, nice. And I might have gotten an apple dumpling thing. He, he does this without me knowing. Yeah, right. So... That, that was a, that, that's the challenge. I think the weather, um, we've spent a lot of time indoor during the, the summer months because yeah, we have three air conditioning. That was really sucky. And then when it rains, what we've decided to do is we went to the movies a lot while we were here. Yeah. So, 
you know, we, we try to do as much as we can. And then it's really okay just to hang out in our house because it is our house. And if we were in a sticks and bricks, which is what the RV community calls homes, uh, we would be doing the same thing. We'd be hanging out, watching TV or reading. And that's what we're doing while we're here. So this is what have we done in every place oh, we've stayed? We have purged stuff. Decluttered. Yeah. Every single state we have been in, we have donated stuff or sold. Sold, yeah. I, I, I changed my address, uh, our address on Facebook Marketplace, and I have, we have, so, seriously, every state we've been in, we have sold something. Yeah. Jerry's tools come, like, I mean, people just flock to them. So good tools. he has good tools. So, and we're still decluttering you guys. I mean, it's still something that we're actually doing. So you're saying we were pack wraps? I, I, well, we didn't know what you, we didn't know. You, you know, know, you don't know what you need, especially Jerry he didn't know what tools he needed because you know, he can fix anything, but you just don't know. Um, I decluttered the kitchen, I think three times. Uh, again, my whole philosophy is how many spatulas does a person need? <laughs> so, I mean, there's a lot to still do because when you're living in a small, very small home, you, you have to really have a space for everything. And weight uh, is the consideration. You don't yeah. want to be overweight. Yeah. Um, that's dangerous. That's, that's more wear and tear in your, yeah. your truck and your, on the trailer and your brakes and what have you. Um, so we've learned to, we've weighed, uh, we're going to weigh before we leave here. Now that'll oh. be the third time we've weighed. So hopefully we'll be lighter. Um, and, yeah. and people go, well, what's the difference? And it's because of, of fuel. Yeah. I mean, it, it costs more well, fuel and, when you're and heavy. The, and the, the weight restrictions on the, on, on the trailer, it, yeah. it tells you exactly how many pounds you're allowed to carry. Which is know? so crazy because here's the thing. We have a washer and dryer. Yes. Hello. Have you met me? We have a washer and dryer. And the issue is that that thing is heavy and it wasn't part of the weight when they weighed it prior. Right? Right. And then we also learned something that was very interesting. They give you the crappiest mattress when you buy these things. It's not a mattress. It's no. honestly the mattress that they give you when you spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for these things is ridiculous. So, of course, that's lightweight. So when you get a new mattress, guess what? Yeah. It's heavier. So we're learning all of this stuff. And, you know, it's, it's an experience. The biggest question we get about this lifestyle is how are you guys... <laughs> How are you guys getting along? You so your philosophy. This. You can't do this if you've got a questionable relationship. Yeah. Okay. True. You will, this will expose the weakness of your relationship. Uh, you know, it's like first month into it, Susan was like, wow, oh, you're going to be home all the time. You know, I, I disappear for eight hours, nine hours a day for going to work. Yeah. And that was her free time. But now we're like, hi, I'm here today. How are you doing? So. Yeah, we've learned a lot. Um, those of you who know me really well know I'm, I'm fairly independent. And um, the thing that... that fairly? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty independent. And what happened was, it's not like we love... Listen, not only do we love each other, we really like each other. And we really like spending time with each other. But I've had to... <laughs> Keep my bookie, bookie, bookie. I've had to learn to express... To Jerry that I need some alone time. Space. Yeah. And my alone time is when Back I, away. <laughs> is when I when I go walking. I need to be able to walk by myself so I can talk to my friends or just get on, you know, a book. But just seriously, it's for my mental health. And a lot of you understand what I'm saying about that. The other thing is when we're inside, you know, Jerry wants to watch something I don't want to watch, it's a good thing we have two TVs. So it's really helped us to be a little bit more open with us and say, look, you know, we love each other, but we just need a little space. Apart. Yeah. Because, you know, I've, I've said this before too. And I, I say that this lifestyle can be lonely and it's not that we don't have each other, but what happens is you miss a community, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and so what we've decided that we're going to do is we're going to create our own new community and our, uh, you know, new friends. And that's what we've done. We've met some wonderful, wonderful people that we're actually gonna be meeting, yeah, on, meeting the road on the road in different RV parks. So I think that we've learned a lot in the six months. We've experienced a lot. We have a lot of great adventures behind us, but what's coming up in 2022 is pretty cool. We wanna tell them everything. Not everything, but let me just kind of share with you that we, once we leave Arizona, cause we will be in Arizona starting uh, for about two months uh, total. 
And once we leave Arizona, again, like I said, we're gonna be back in Austin to see Katie in March uh, because it's warmer there and we have to head up to Indiana. Yep. That, that's gonna be a whole video in itself because we're getting a lot of work done on the RV. And from Indiana is when we start heading east and we're gonna be in Washington, D.C. Uh, we are going- Virginia. Virginia, West Virginia. Um, New York, New Jersey, whatever. We're, we're planning those right now. We do have reservations in New England for next year. Vermont. Yeah, for a month. Maine. Bangor, Maine. So we've got, we've got a lot coming up and we're very excited about it. And what's so great is I think coming back to California, we have stayed in Northern California for six weeks. Um, we're very excited that we did that because it's enabled us to really have the time to meet with friends and family in the holidays and it, it, it's been great it's yeah. it's really been great and so sit and get to see people that we didn't take didn't have the time to say goodbye to when we left in yeah. june of last year yeah so of this year we're still in 2021 oh, this year. sorry <laughs> i know well when they see this it'll be a new year nope they're going to see this on the 30th oh, of yeah. December. Okay, so it's 2021. <laughs> so, yeah, there's just a lot coming up, and we can't wait to show all of you. And we want to say thank you, all of you, for sticking with us and following our adventures. And please do us a favor. Give us a thumbs up, and do subscribe, and do share, and do comment, because I really yeah. love when you guys comment. It really makes us happy. Tell us what you want to hear. Yeah, I mean, let us know some things that you want to know, the questions that you have, because we get these all the time, and it be great to share them Absolutely. so happy new year have a wonderful wonderful rest of your holiday because it's uh, still the holiday season and what's our just one more another adventure yeah our next 2022 adventures so thanks so much again for being here love you guys see you bye